Thank you, thank you very much once again. Let me uh, welcome you back to this um, aristocratic channel of ours. And this channel is known as Metric Plus Naked Specialist. As you are watching on, please refer back to the previous modules which have been recorded and ensure that you are also taking some notes in relation to the aspect. And then please ensure that uh, this is it is for test series and the examination which are pertaining uh, to this. There are also previous uh, modules which have been established. Please refer back to those as you are watching. Ensure that you are also taking others into this relation and taking others to also watch as well. Uh, let us please subscribe under the module six here. Uh, module three, we are talking about uh, the compilation of the government uh, by, of budget. We are saying that uh, the meaning that is that the budget is of a financial statement which expenditure uh, the revenue and expenditure over a certain period of time. So remember, this one can be asked in the examination uh, to say define the term budget. It can be allocated for two marks. So we are saying that that is a financial statement which cost, uh, contains the estimates how much uh, things can be of revenue uh, in relation to the expenditure over the period of time and ensure that that one it is for uh, two marks. If ever we are moving on again, we are to see that we've got the basic uh, concepts which can appear in section A whereby you are dealing with two or false question or give them a one way biological term. So we are moving on air uh, and then I'm saying we've got the budget concepts. So you must know these uh, concepts without any failure. And number one is revenue. We are saying revenue is the sources of funds. Where exactly do we get funds? And then we know that we get funds from the taxes. And then uh, sometimes if the money is not enough, the government, it goes uh, outside the country to borrow the capital. And then we move on again. We are saying expenditure. This is the meaning of the spending of funds. Remember that uh, when you have allocated the money, you must spend the funds. So we regard to such as the expenditure. And then we've got the capital expenditure. Bear in mind that there are two different things. We are saying spending on the what? On the infrastructure or the services that will last longer than a current year. So we are saying that is the capital expenditure. So operational expenditure, it derives from the word operate. When we are operating, we are saying that these funds are needed to run a certain department. So they are day-to-day -day transactions or day-to-day -day activities which must take place. And then eh, we mean of eh, to say we've got the policy directives. So we are saying this is the reflection of the overall policy of the government of the day. Remember that eh, each and every official it does or is obliged to stick to policies of a certain department okay and then if ever we are moving on again we are to see that uh, we are still under the compilation of the government budget but now we are talking of the budget at the central government the annual budget so remember that we are saying that the central government is the largest sphere of the government it is on top it supplies the provincial and also it supplies the local government so uh, it means that uh, the budget it comes from them it is prepared for from them and then they delegate this money uh, over these a uh, uh, government mainly the provincial government and the local government we are saying that uh, the budget is a program of directed is directed towards satisfying the needs and the demands of the public remember uh, that uh, the public are uh, they are the one that they pay tax so it means that whatever is going to happen that it means that they must be satisfied they might be educational safety or protection needs the cycle itself may be divided into the following phases so remember the question can be asked to say uh, the budget uh, the budgeting for central government is divided into phases name those phases of the budget so remember that We've got the preparatory phase. So we are saying in the preparatory phase, the government officials whom they are appointed that they deal with funds, uh, they prepare the budget, they estimate the budget, and then the budget is descended again for approval. So number two, we've got the approval phase. The approval phase now, we mean to say that uh, different uh, types of uh, officials, they will submit their proposal to where uh, to the minister the minister therefore would approve the budget and then we've got the execution phase the word execution it means now uh, something must be done whatever that you have planned it must come to a plan of action 
So it means now relevant departments will execute their a particular function as stipulated. And then lastly, we've got what we call a control phase. A control phase is the one that uh, will ensure to say the money that was allocated for a certain uh, project, it is there for spend for that particular uh, project. There is no maladministration that have occurred or there is no corruption that has occurred. So these phases, uh, good people, they can be up to uh, 14 marks. And then if ever we are moving on again, we are to see that uh, we've got some uh, aspects that we need to discuss. Uh, as we are discussing again, we need to take the notes down. Take the notes down as, and remember, we are going to talk about uh, now the types of budget. We are saying that we've got the two types of budget, and they namely, number one, uh, this is called the revenue uh, budget, showing uh, expected income and revenue. And then we've got the expenditure budget so the, the number two is expenditure budget and then under the expenditure budget we can see that we are having uh, it is showing proposals for expenditure by the executive authority and then these two types of budget are drafted independently so that it is for four marks if we are moving on again we have to see that uh, we need to go to uh, what we call uh, the revenue budget remember that the revenue it relates to the money that is the revenue that the state have we are saying the state revenue or fund is the fund into which all income is paid into the account and there are two receivers of revenue the commissioner of inland revenue which is the sars and the commissioner of custom and exercise so these two they have that money they draft their own revenue a separate budget which are then combined into the budget of revenue. Hope that is clear. And then we've got what we call the expenditure budget. So the expenditure budget, it is for expenses, and this forms the main part of the budget, which is read and tabled in the parliament every year in March by the Minister of Finance. If ever we are moving on again, we have to see that we have the provincial government eh, finance. We are saying the principles applied to the central government should be applied to the provincial authorities as well. So we are saying that what is happening in the central government must happen to the provincial authority. And then, uh, guys, as you are uh, watching on, please take note that uh, we have again, something again, uh, and then we'll be talking about the provincial revenue. So we are saying that at the present level, the following main sources of income at present are the national uh, government grants, the taxations, and we've got the levies and general activities. So we are saying that uh, that is where the government is having the main sources of money. And of course, under the gambling and bets, they are also available. And then if ever we are moving on again, we are to see that uh, we've got now the local government uh, as a finance now. Compared to the national uh, budget level, the following applies for the local authorities. So we want to know what is going to happen now if money is received to the government. What must going to happen in the local authority or in the uh, municipality? We mean to say that the central government must prioritize again the local people so that the inhabitants can be fully developed. So we are saying that the capital budget and the operational budget they are drafted separately because of they are two different activities that they are taking place in this. Number two, we talk about the expenditure and the revenue budget. They are drafted together. The expenditure and the revenue budgets are drafted together. There is only one main budget. A budget, a vote list programs is drawn up for each services and no distinction between collective particular or quasi-collective. So remember that we've got three different types of services, which is collective services, the particular services, and the quasi-collective services. When you are tuning on on our next module, please ensure that uh, you are tuning on so that you can learn about these three services in a better state and ensure that this is for 10 marks as you are hitting the subscription i'm saying thank you very much for your time let us tune on again on our next video thank you